Edinburgh is ready to say their final goodbyes to their very beloved Queen. Just round the corner there is the Palace of Holyrood from where Queen's Coffin will be taken in a procession along the Royal Mile. And I am here with some people who will be very young generation here, who will be saying their final goodbyes. But the very interesting thing is the very beautiful lady at the end is from Australia as well. So that's great. But what's your name please? And please tell me, um, what did the Queen mean to you? Uh, I'm Adam uh, from Scotland and uh, I guess it's that kind of consistency in the UK, that's all I've known mm. um, for my life. Um, so I think it's important to come here and, and say goodbye and, and pay our respects. Brilliant. Um, does it mean that it, her not being here is the break in that consistency and constant and something changes for you? I think so. It'll be important uh, to remember, but I think it'll be interesting to see what happens because I think the Royal Family needs to change at all with the, the, the new times and, and opinions of, of the current, current age. Which is? I think change. I think change is, is important. I think they are obviously a very important part of, of history, but I think there are a lot of problematic parts of that. And I think evolving to, to the sort of new opinions and new generations and, and what we feel as a, as a younger generation is, 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 is very, really important. Yes indeed and I think one very big question is that um, uh, King Charles has inherited this huge inheritance from the Queen without any tax while all of us here would need to do if he pass on that inheritance but apart from that as of now somber moment from you you're from Australia living in the Scotland. Yeah. So tell me your views. You have the king, uh, queen as, or now the king, as the titular head. But what are the voices like? I think it's quite interesting. Mm. Yeah, coming from Australia, where there's almost, I think, a disconnect. I would say from the royal family. Um, I think other than participating in the Commonwealth Games, we don't really have much um, interaction with it. But then having lived here for two and a half years now, it's. I think I, I didn't think I was going to feel much yesterday when we went to the procession, but it was it was really moving and beautiful. Um, but yeah, as Adam said, I think it will be interesting to see how obviously Prince, uh, well, King Charles is a like big advocate for climate change and things like that. So it would be very interesting to see how yeah the royal family adapts to the new world. Indeed, and now he has to curb his entire speech on climate uh, issues and climate crisis which is not going to go well, quite well with the issue and hopes that he keeps it up because it's very important. But you yeah. live in Australia. Yeah, I yeah, do. Uh, tell me, uh, though the government, I think, has quite keen to keep, but there are lots of voices that to make it Republican. Yeah, I think um, the Prime Minister, I heard something like it will be at least two years before we decide if we'll separate from the Commonwealth kind of hmm. governance. Yeah. Um, I don't know, in Australia, as Ali said, there is a disconnect and I don't really, I sometimes forget that we are a Commonwealth government. Um, and I think, as Adam said earlier, there is some pushback, especially from the Australian kind of newer generation because we see what's gone on due to the um, royals. Yeah, I think it was, it was amazing to be there yesterday and it was, yeah, uh, and today you true. will be there today. Uh, yeah. The Queen brings everyone together, and that's yeah. what everyone hears. Yeah, for. all of you, isn't it? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Queen brings everyone together. Yeah. 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 Actually, that's the thing. The Queen brings everyone together. Thank you so so much. Yeah. Uh, Queen brings everyone together, and it needs to be seen whether uh, the King is able to continue this kind of legacy. But as of now. The procession will go from the Royal Mile all the way to St Giles. It is coming from the Holyrood, uh, the Palace of Holyrood, which is the official residence of the Queen when she is here in the UK, or the monarch in this case now, the King, uh, who is uh, will every time he is here there will be an, uh, the ceremony of the keys, which is actually a kind of an exchange of trust between the Lord Provost or the city who's the civic head of um, Edinburgh to say that the city belong it really trusts you with the kind of responsibilities that we have and the keys returned then to the Lord Provost uh, by the King who says a certain uh, exact certain words which is that uh, you are the best person to 
have these keys and we trust you. So a lot of trust and a lot of tradition is involved in this whole ceremony that will uh, the procession and the ceremony of the morning leading up to the uh, last day, which is 19th of September, which is when uh, is the funeral in Westminster Abbey in London. But all eyes on the profession. Uh, Lavina Tandon for India Today from Edinburgh, Scotland.